just as I was about to start today's video, the air compressor turns on and I think it's like right outside the window. Just shut off, but good morning. Welcome back to my channel. It is Tuesday and Tuesday means I am out and about running all the errands, which actually is like perfect timing because tomorrow we're supposed to get snow. So it's going to be a good day to just stay home. It's unfortunate though, usually I'm okay with snow, but at a certain point in the year, it's like, okay, we're ready to be done. We're thinking spring. Also, mind you, we have our siding project going on. So I haven't really talked to them, but I assume they won't be working like when it's snowing outside. I'm not quite sure, <laughs> I have no idea. But they are here, they are working away. They're actually putting up siding now on the e no north side of the house, which would be where the microwave, refrigerator, mudroom area is of our house. And then up to like where my bedroom is and Madden's room is. So they're kind of working on that side. He tore it all off yesterday and now they're putting the new siding on today. And then they still have this wall to do, which I assume they're going to also get done today. Putting up the siding I think goes a lot faster, but all that to say, they're still working. Tomorrow, I doubt they will be. So tomorrow is actually the day I'm planning to record my spring home tour. So it's going to be snowing outside and I'm going to be <laughs> recording. But you know, it's kind of one of those things I need to take advantage if they aren't going to be working outside. I need to get that video recorded so it's not like super loud in the background type of thing. So that's what we're doing. So today is all about getting things done around the house in preparation for recording my spring home tour. I have a few last spots that I want to kind of fix or update. I have a couple of things on my list to, that I want to go out and search for. I'm hoping I can find them. I have been struggling with like two different spots in my home. One being that chicken wire shelf. I cannot get it right. So I wrote down, actually it was like 1 a.m. I'm writing on my, or making like a list on my phone of different ideas that I came up. Try this, try these two canisters with this, try this tray with that. So I'm going to actually go do that right now before I head out and about. But I also have a couple of returns to make to Hobby Lobby. I want to do a little bit of thrifting. I also have a grocery pickup order. So we're gonna be doing all the things today. But first coffee and a lot of the places I need to go don't open until nine. It feels like my own version of March Madness, honestly, because um, I didn't know what siding was going to be going on this week when I was like planning out not only my upload schedule for YouTube, but then like right after that, our kitchen floors, from what I know, I haven't heard anything get done. So we're gonna then have to shift gears to moving everything out of the kitchen and the laundry room and the pantry closet area so it's just it's gonna be pure chaos all month long which is good and bad at the same time <laughs> oh but yeah i cannot get this chicken wire yourself for the life of me figured out i've had like a continuous pile of decor on my kitchen table now for probably two weeks as i've been like trying new things i'll like go like find something else somewhere to try and then i don't like it so then i put it back on the table and grab more stuff but oh. But yeah, my re most recent deal, what, I grabbed this tray from our family room to, I'm like, oh, this would probably fit. Do like <laughs> my own version of a dough bowl on top of the shelf. I don't think it's gonna work, but I'm like, I gotta try it. <laughs> oh. How are you doing? Are you doing well? I hope so. Hmm. And I will say too, I've made some good changes I feel like to my spring decor that I've shared already on my channel. So you're gonna see some new stuff in my decor tour. <laughs> I pulled out some of my lavender decor which is usually down in our basement bathroom. And I tried that out here and a little bit in my office and I really like it. So that's actually on my list today to look for. Just like little hints of the purple, it's actually really pretty. So, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is my day, chaos. Next on my list were to try some of the, just like go back to how I was decorating it before when it was on my kitchen counters and that was like canisters. 
and I had tucked these away, these galvanized ones, but girls gotta try. Something else I've been debating on doing is looking for an olive tree. I know a lot of people are loving them lately and I am too. I just never really knew where I'd put it. But I was thinking maybe in this corner by the blanket ladder, like maybe like right in there, something simple, not like greenery overload or anything like that because I really don't have like any greenery in this corner of our living room. I did see a cute one in the Target outdoor section, but I'm guessing it's probably gone now. I feel like if you see something now in the stores, like you need to grab it like that. I don't know what it is, but just the past like probably six months or so, like you need to like jump on things when you see them. But, so I'll probably check Hobby Lobby too for an olive tree. Like I said, just something super simple. So an olive tree, some lavender pieces, and what was the other thing? A table runner for on top of the piano. Right now I have like a charcoal gray color one and I'd like to brighten it up I think for spring and summer. I'm doing like a lot of like black accents and it's just kind of looking kind of dark. So we'll see what we can find but those are some of the main things I'm on the hunt for. And this is totally random, but I take pictures of where I'm like decorating. So when I'm out shopping, like I can try to like visualize my decor. At my happy place, Hobby Lobby. So I have a few returns to make. They just didn't work out. Uh, I don't like to hang on to returns super long. So I'm like, I gotta go there first. I need to get it returned. For some reason, I always worry they're not gonna take it back or whatever. <laughs> but anyways, so I'm looking for possibly an olive tree. We'll see what they look like. I'm really not sold on it. But I suppose if it doesn't work there, I could find a different place for it. And then lavender. I want to see if they have any like potted lavender arrangements. I feel like they do. I've never really looked at them though because I've never been interested in it. But that and then what was the other thing? A table runner. I don't know that those are on sale though this week unless it's in the spring shop. The sale thing with not having the coupon at Hobby Lobby, it's driving me crazy. Like that's always been like my backup way of like, oh, I'll just use my coupon if it's not on sale. But now you actually have to plan out your like, your Hobby Lobby runs. I mean, Hobby Lobby problems, I guess. But I'm gonna head in, we'll see what they have, and then we'll go to the next place. I'm kind of on, I don't wanna be out too long. I like to be home when they're working on the house just in case they like need me or have questions or anything like that. But also I have a grocery pickup in about an hour, and I wanna hit up here, possibly Target, I'm not quite sure, and then Goodwill as well, so we better get in there. I made my return now to go to the trees first. It's a eucalyptus. A lemon tree cactus. Picture that reminds me of the one I thrifted from Goodwill. They have one left and they have these super cute like little glasses to go with it. I like this table runner. These look really wrinkly. What happened here? <laughs> what in the world? That looks like someone washed it and returned it. I'll take one from the back. But I like this. It's like a sagey green color. I think that might work. And it's of course, 40% off of $24.99. Look at the placemats that match. Oh my gosh, someone totally washed those and brought them back. What in the world? I don't get it. They don't wash well. Luckily, it's just on the piano, so I think it'll be okay. Here's all the napkin rings that I like to use on tiered trays. They're $2.99, but 40% off. And these are super cute. They're like little mini olive tree they're like place card holders but you could totally take that out and then you just have like a little mini olive tree in a white pot I see a light in your eyes I follow you so then foolishly you'd be the sweetest goodbye give me a heart trip exclusive Walmart waiting 
for my groceries and oh my gosh, my sunglasses glasses are so dirty. It's like, did the kids get these or what? I'm gonna have to bring them inside and wash them. But I got everything on my list so that feels great. It's going to be a fun afternoon just kind of playing with everything and finding homes for it. Oh. He's coming out right now, but there's no substitutions with my Walmart grocery order either. So double bonus, that's always a good day. I just went outside and spoke with the contractor and he I'm like so what's your plan for tomorrow since it's supposed to snow he goes well it kind of depends what it's like we may come if it's like a light snow but if it's like eight inches probably not so I'm thinking he'll be here tomorrow but we'll see so anyways I put the groceries away we ate lunch I picked up the twins and now they are in bed so I'm hoping to like just like get a bunch of stuff done now during nap time just cleaning tidying up and putting out my new decor pieces so I'm ready to go for tomorrow for my home tour that I'm recording but I wanted to share with you what I picked up from Goodwill I almost bought those baskets so the very first thing I shared with you in the store were these set of three little baskets and I think they were like 250 for three of them I had them in my cart and at the very last minute as I was going to pay, I put them back because I'm like, oh, I don't know where I would put them all. Do I really need it? Kind of sad about it, but I'll, I'll be okay. I'll be okay, but I did still find one fun decor piece and it was this brown ceramic pitcher. At first when I saw it, I thought it was black, but it's more of like a bronzy color. It's actually really pretty. I was looking for white pictures, but there weren't any, but this one will definitely do. I think it'll look really nice on my shelves. Although I don't know if I'm gonna use it right now, but this would be actually really pretty during fall too with some like a fall floral grouping in there. I don't know, I think it'll be really cool. So it's $1.75. $1.75 for the little brown ceramic pitcher. I don't know where it's from. It kind of has some tags on it, but it may need to just have a good cleaning too. It's a little scuffed up, but that just adds character, right? <laughs> and then the other three things were for the kids. I, I always look through the books. I didn't find anything for myself, but I did find some children's books and I think paperbacks. I'm so sorry you can hear that in the background. I think paperbacks are 75 cents. So I got Can I Play Two by Mo Williams. This is actually Macy's, like one of her favorite authors. And she loves to read these books to the boys. So I know she'll be really excited about that one. And I don't think we own any of those books. So that's awesome. All of my kids, well specifically all three boys, love the National Geographic kids books. And I saw this one and I am like 99% sure we do not have this one. This is the Ocean Animals Collection. We just love all National Geographic books. Whenever I see them, I always pick them up. They love them. And then the last one we have, I, have the, I don't even wanna say, 40? 40 to 50 Berenstein Bear books. I feel like we almost had them all. And then I saw this one, I'm like, mm -mm, we don't have this one. <laughs> God bless the animals. So Madden's kind of into Berenstein Bears right now. We went through that phase with Macy. And then of course the twins. The twins are actually really into little critter books right now. My mother-in-law saved all my husband's when he was growing up. So they're all his from when he was a kid. So they really like those. And same with the Berenstein Bear books. So. Yeah, we have quite the collection of those. So I will show these to the kids when they get home from school and I think they'll be really excited. So let me grab my Hobby Lobby stuff now. I returned a good amount of things so it was kind of a wash so it all worked out. But I went for lavender and lavender I found. So I'm just adding a few pops of it out here. I, I don't know, I just needed a little bit of color and I was like, well let me try it and I just loved it. So. I grabbed another one of these, I actually already had one, 
and this is kind of what started it all. So I just grabbed one of the mini wreaths. They're all 50% off this week, and so normally $13.99. So grabbed one more of those. I have wreaths everywhere. They're just such an easy thing to decorate with. And then also lavender wise, I almost got the one in like the tin bowl, but it was way more, it was like $10 more than this. I'm like, I will make this one work instead. So it is just a little basket with two little lavender arrangements in the grass. I think it's really pretty and it's going to go on my shelves here in the kitchen. Normally $13.99 is it. So I thought that was a steal. So like what, $7? $7 for that. So super cute compared to the $30 one. And then one more lavender thing. Sorry, I'm kind of reaching on the table here. I just grabbed this just in case I wanna like fill in somewhere if I need to like tie something together. But I grabbed one of these lavender picks as well. They were $9.99, so $5 for this. Kind of expensive, which is why I only grabbed one of them. But I thought, you know, I could. I bought this before I even knew I was getting this, obviously. But I could do like a pretty little arrangement in here if I wanted to. I don't know if I will, but that would work. Then you saw that I picked up the table runner. How crazy was that that they put those returns back out that had been washed? They looked awful. Oh my gosh, I still can't get over that. But okay, so $24.99 for this table runner. I'm gonna try this on the piano this afternoon. I think it'll go. I actually have some pillows on my chair that have this green in it. And of course, I have greenery everywhere. So I think it'll work. And then I also grabbed, when I was looking at the table runner, this was kind of in the same area. I picked up these kitchen towels. They're like that sagey green color. I picked up some navy ones, but I also wanted to have some of these green ones as well, just because I'm using some of my navy ones for decor and I don't have anything to use now. So it came with like a solid and this stripe one. And they're like that thicker material that I like for towels that we actually use. Normally $9.99 and then this is pretty cool. I don't remember seeing it, but then again, I wasn't really looking for it until today when I was like, I need something for my chicken wire shelf. So this one was normally $7.99 out of the spring shop, but it's like a galvanized tin that sits at an angle. I mean, how cute is that? You put so many fun little things in here. So I'm gonna give this a try. I already have an idea, so I'm excited about this one. I bought something out of my list. You knew I was gonna do that, right? And it's, I had, I couldn't leave it there. I just couldn't. I knew that I would be sad if I didn't like go back the next time and it was gone. So I went and I picked it up. I have an addiction to canisters. I like to switch them out. I like to switch them out a lot, in fact. And I feel like you can use them like all over your house too. But I love to decorate with them the most. So I did move my dollar spot ones, the clear ones. I actually moved those to my coffee cabinet. Now I have my pods and my Nespresso, whatever you call them, in, in the other one. So I have some space to work with, right? But I haven't seen these before and I fell in love. So I did not get, they had a three sizes. I got the medium and the small but I just think they're so fun. With wooden lid, they're not airtight or anything like that, but just for decor, these would also be super cute for dog treats or something, you know, pet treats or something, I don't know. But I, or even kids, like for like craft supplies. Oh, that's an idea too. I just couldn't leave them there. These were, oop. $19.99 for the medium. <laughs> 40% off and then the small one is adorable. I can't get over it. I love the wood lid and the little label there. If I wanted to do a label, the small one was $14.99. So I'm just going to get started on my to-do list now. I want to rotate laundry. I'm washing my clothes and my husband's and see I'm drawing a blank. This is why I need lists. <laughs> What was the other thing? I need to wipe down my appliances in the kitchen. I still haven't done that. And they're really gross looking. And what was the other thing? Clean the bathroom. Also disgusting.
bathroom is clean i did also scrub down the toilet and by scrubbing i mean the whole thing <laughs> that's loud why i have my airpods in but yeah i have three little boys who apparently don't know how or where the toilet is so i don't know it's kind of gross i didn't really want to record that part but i did clean it so that feels good it'll be clean you know for however long until they come in here and use the bathroom. So now I'm going to head to the kitchen and I'll wipe down, polish up my appliances, and then tomorrow, before I actually record, I'll do like the, you know, vacuuming and sweeping, all that kind of final stuff, wipe down my counters. But these are just things I knew I could probably take care of today. stainless steel cleaner and protectant. I would say it's more like polish and protectant rather than a cleaner, but this is hands down my favorite that I get off of the Grove Collaborative website. It's amazing. And I, I need to double check that I have another bottle because this one's almost gone. It feels good though to get some stuff done. I got everything done on my list. I do need to rotate and do a little bit more laundry yet. And just hearing them working outside, making our house look so pretty, I, yeah, it feels good. So I do still need to clear off my kitchen table, but I'm so excited for you all to see my home tour video. I feel like it's changed quite a bit from when you last saw it, and I think you're really going to like it. I only gave you sneak peeks of my office, but I've changed things up quite a bit in there. Not like furniture-wise or anything like that, but decor-wise I did. And I really kind of pushed myself, like adding more florals than I ever have. Spring is a tough one for me, I'm not going to lie. Like fall and Christmas, like easy, love it. You could just like insert like pumpkins everywhere and Christmas trees everywhere, but spring, it takes a lot of work. And so I've really kind of like pushed myself and I'm really happy I did because I think it turned out really good. So yeah, I hope you guys will like it. Bloodfish. Ooh, gross. I've never seen one of those. That's so strange looking. Madden likes this book. He also liked this one. He's like, ooh, I'm gonna put both of these in my room. It is a little after 4.30 and we're gonna head outside. before it snows tomorrow. One last little bike ride. I don't know, the latest I've checked, I thought it was two to five inches. It's quite a bit. I was hoping for like one inch or so. Usually I don't mind snow, but when we have stuff going on, like projects like this, it's like, no! You guys ready to go outside? Yeah. Winter weather advisory, no. Two to five inches. The spring magnolia journal just came and I haven't, I need to sit down and look at it later, but Mom, look at that. Mom, everything I need. Thank you. I 
I'm like, oh my gosh, maybe on my barn door wall, I should paint it that color. My shiplap, that green. That'd be pretty. I'm really on a green kick lately. Water guns. No, we're not gonna do water mm -hmm. guns. It's not that nice though. It is 65, but it is not that nice. Oh, the sun is setting. Whoa, the sun is setting. Yeah. Mom life, I have a turtle in my pocket, but I thought we'd go check out what they've been up to back here today. Oh, they did that high part. Ugh, freaks me out. Let's take a look. Oh, and it's muddy. Oh. Got all this side done, and they're just finishing up on the other for today. This is my laundry room window. Looks like they still have a decent amount of stuff. I would be surprised if they get it all done this week. Okay, my friends, I came upstairs to end today's video and what time? It's 6.37. I'm gonna put my pajamas on, I know. Do you put on your pajamas that early? I don't know, I just look forward to getting all cozy and then put my robe on. But that's going to be it for today's video. I'm not looking forward to waking up to snow. We'll see what all happens, but I am looking forward to sharing lots of more videos with you. So we have that spring home tour video live Saturday morning. Come join the premiere with me. It's also a collaboration with a bunch of other girls here on YouTube. Some new ones that you may not have heard of and some that you are familiar with. So I'm excited about it. I hope you are too. But anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. And the kids are going crazy. Have a nice day. All the gods and all the angels got them waiting at your table. Just give